All right. At number one, and technically the rumors have been around for this one since the beginning of 2022, the first gameplay trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre finally came our way and showing off some multiplayer experience. This is, however, you might want to pass if you're just eating or something, just a heads up. The game will be coming to PCs, PlayStation and Xbox consoles, both generations sometime next year. You can't hide from me! <laughs> This is your own fault. Coming up behind that, and this is perhaps the biggest news you're about to hear before Bethesda comes up with Elder Scrolls 6, whenever that might be. Starfield came our way once again and with some like 10 more minutes of pure gameplay. This game's now releasing next year into PCs and Xbox consoles only, and it's just to get a better picture of the biggest video game in terms of scale that was ever made so far. Take a look. You will be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settle Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UC Sister. And together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 also just went on and got itself another gameplay trailer. Apparently the game will indeed retain the third-person perspective with vastly improved graphics, but with the same lonely atmosphere, if not actually worse, according to Capcom. Resident Evil 4 Remake will be a full reimagining of the original, but with modern flourishes and more. Check it out. Here's a new trailer. Resident Evil 4 releases on March 24 next year for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and also PCs. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements where we'll have more information on the game. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the commsat relay, and bring it back online. 
We found the relay. But there was a problem. Revealed at the Summer Game Fest, on the other hand, we just came across a brand new alien game named Dark Descent. Apparently a single player squad based action shooter, probably a co-op too. Here's the more of a cinematic trailer that Focus Entertainment came up with and the news that the game arrives on PlayStation 5 for Xbox consoles and PCs sometime next year. Oh, this ain't good. What we found was a new kind of evil, and it found us first. What the? This was human. At number 5, and this has actually been a long time coming to be quite frank, NCSoft Korean developers finally came out and released another trailer for what we came to know by the name Project M. But what is technically described by the company as a dramatic thrilling adventure about a guy getting revenge on his lover's death? This is actually Unreal Engine 5 and seems to be taking quite a bit of inspiration from another game going by Heavy Rain. Check it out. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. All right. The Callisto Protocol is set to launch December 2nd this year and ahead of the upcoming Dead Space remake due next year. And it is now coming to pretty much every single platform there is. Here's the thing, Krafton and Skybound developers to make even more hype for the game, in addition to the gameplay trailer that came up a week ago, just came out and revealed another one showcasing actual real-time gameplay. Check it out in case you missed it. every time.
coming up at number seven, Wulong, Fallen Dynasty from a few days ago, assuming you've missed out on the news, was probably one of the biggest surprise reveals in Bethesda Showcase alongside other games like Starfield. This is basically the latest project from the makers of Nia by Quay Tecmo and Team Ninja and said to be coming to PCs and consoles early next year. Check it out. Now, just in case you somehow missed out, Square Enix also released a new trailer for Final Fantasy 16 just now, in addition to a release window of summer 2023. Supposedly the game is coming to the PlayStation 5 and PCs only, and seeming to be some sort of a timed exclusive. Final Fantasy 16 is, as you can see, a single player focused action RPG, like a lot of previous entries in the series, and this is how it actually looks like. Light the dominance that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. If I take the field, our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Last question, Dr. Dallin. Are you sure the perimeter surrounding the zone is really enough? If a powerful emission were to occur, we would- Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. <laughs> As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. Okay, GSC Game World, on the other hand, also just released a brand new trailer for Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. In addition to the news that the game's now pushed back to 2023, mainly due to relocating the company because of the ongoing war in Ukraine, Stalker 2, for those of you who don't know yet, is actually being built using Unreal Engine 5. It is an open world game and a first person survival horror game at heart. Check it out. Evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. However, city officials urge people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control.
When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Okay then, hope you're ready to begin. If you did miss out on the Summer Game Festival just a few days ago, technically Street Fighter VI was literally the crown jewel of the whole show. That is having Resident Evil 4 Remake in mind. Here's the thing, there's still plenty of Street Fighter VI news to come out way in the following months. Nonetheless, Capcom did actually come up with a hefty amount of gameplay. Check it out, Street Fighter VI releases on all consoles and PCs sometime next year. Let me have some fun. Ready? Then show me. This will be a good fight. <laughs> Alright, uh, once in industries, just a few days ago after a couple of months of silence, once again, went on and released a new trailer for Wanted Dead. See, Wanted Dead is an action game that basically mixes swordplay with gunplay, like a third-person shooter, but at the same time a hack and slasher. The story here, since we didn't mention before, actually follows a week in the life of a zombie unit in Hong Kong, and mainly revolving around conspiracy theories. Check it out, this game is releasing around holidays this year. Mix it with both hands, unless you have only one. Do you feel pain? Do you? Violent protests continue. Mistakes are being made. Sometimes it's not up to us. The latest battle droid. Sir? Police. Sometimes they wake you up, you know. Memories of yesterday. Stone. My dad tells stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. Moving on, we've got Ark. Two, the sequel to the 2017 survival game Ark Survival Evolved that just went 100% free to play on Steam for those of you who missed out. Literally the finest survival game of all time, if not one of them. Ark 2, on the other hand, will be a third-person Souls-like action RPG. Pretty different to the original formula, obviously. This game is set to be released next year and also a Microsoft exclusive. Check it out, here's some gameplay. Could catch her and end this war. Young Rentier, still on your father's leash, I see. What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Flying Wild Hog and Focus Entertainment, since the release of Shadow Warrior 3 from earlier this year, well, finally, just a few days ago, came out and revealed a release date of September 20th this year for Evil West. To accompany that, however, they also released another trailer on, well, what looks like some good old gothic or testosterone-filled stuff you'll probably see nowhere else this entire 2020. Check it out. Alright, 
Just a minute ago, for those of you who've actually been waiting a while, a very brand new Forza Motorsport 2023, well, the new game, versus Forza Motorsport 7 kind of comparison video showcase just came our way. And it's been a while since we've actually been waiting to hear more about this game. So this one over here is basically the closest thing you can get in terms of actual gameplay. Check it out. Forza Motorsport, all we know, is releasing spring next year and coming to PCs and Xbox Series X. Guys, a couple of weeks ago, we actually got about 15 more minutes of gameplay on Gotham Knights. Now, just in case you missed out, a Summer Game Festival actually kicked off a new trailer just a few days ago, giving us an even deeper look at Nightwing's gameplay. Now, as previously mentioned, the game will feature co-op through campaign, the story set in the wake of Batman's death, and featuring pretty much every single character. But check it out. The game's finally set to be released on October 25 and on PC. PCs, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X. While you can play the whole game solo, you can also protect Gotham and co-op with a friend. Here's Red Hood. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected by an assassin cult. Here, he uses Mystical Leap to move across the rooftop springboarded by his own soul energy. Successful attacks and dodges build up my momentum bar below and timing my strikes and combos correctly makes it build faster. Once the bar is full, heroes can unleash powerful abilities. All right. Red Hood's ranged attacks are a little louder. He fires non-lethal rounds that still do a lot of damage. Here's Red Hood's barrage ability, which deals piercing damage to interrupt armored attacks. Coming up behind that, we have something going on here called Solstice. Typically, I would assume what could happen if you take Devil May Cry and, and throw it in Dark Souls' face. Developed by Replay Game Studios, however, Solstice is actually described by the folks at the company as a hack and slasher at its core, where you play the role of a warrior created by bonding two different souls. Now, since there will always be room for more games like Devil May Cry, this also seems to be a good addition to the long list. Check it out, the game supposedly releasing September 20th and on its way to PCs, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. As long as we are together, we're not going down. They have not yet another monster. They shall have one. journeys end but a new one is right around the corner 
Overwatch 2, well the sequel to Activision Blizzard Shooter, is actually finally releasing October 4 this year, after like 3 years of wait. For those of you who didn't know, adding new characters, a 5 vs 5 PvP combat, details are actually a bit slim for the time being, though we do know there is a beta taking place since June 28th, adding a new map, all heroes reimagined, and what Blizzard described to be the new beginning of a new era for the franchise. Boom, baby! Get in there! That takes a team to tango. Guys? You gotta do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? Me. I want all the power! Coming up at last, we've got Saints Row Boss Factory, set to be released on August 23 and on its way to PCs, Xbox, and PlayStation consoles, both generation. So you can actually go and visit SaintsRow.com right now and sign up for a free demo before release as well and make what folks announced to let you basically customize bosses to never before seen degrees. Here's the trailer. Seriously, this is perfect. perfect. Dinner and a show, baby. Da 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 da